Hello and welcome back to Android 100 Extreme looking at our glorious city with some industry close by as well but well what can you do on this fine day well right now um, we have a bit of a peace uh, stability um, era or time let's say time it's a time only because well basically we're still at war with Benta and with Ching this is not going to change anymore so we are having this internal war thing here going on but it's fine the one thing that I can do right now is first of all secure this corridor here which is going to be easier and easier now the more ships we have at least as long as they don't really go full in there into our um, area right so for now we should be safe there's another battle cruiser coming out um and also another heavy warship that we can play around with here and as we can see yep 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 some smaller skirmishes there this one is all alone though so no problem we had some serious fires and plagues in the last episode this one is solved now at least here so i can now go ahead and repair those poor souls um here as well for now so that's mostly farmers and yeah, well, the one problem is gone. The second one comes up with another fire in the area. What can you do about it? It's, of course, workers and farmers that are being uh, affected by it mostly, as the engineers and the artisans are less likely to burn down or to, to wage war against their own city. Now, let's just have a look here. We still have a couple of problems, though, and one of them is the fur coat, which is now slightly going up, and the other one is the canned food that is still unstable. So canned food is still not... Yeah. working for us um we have the beef we have the red pepper we have some five artisanal kitchens i'm going to have yet another one we could even squeeze in one more so let's just have this one blueprinted for now it's really insane how many of those um artisanal kitchens we need right with that we do get some more um goulash up hopefully so a fourth one is working there now also let's just check our ore again so iron ore at seven that means it's available at least right because my canneries do need quite a lot of that there is an item where we could reduce the amount of stuff that we need, but I haven't found it yet, and we don't have the NPC that trades those items. So far, well, nothing we can do. Rum is fine. Beer is fine now, too. Schnapps is really going down there, and the sausage is down as well. Sausage, they don't have the pigs. Now, what is going on here with the piggies? There is a trader happening right now. Um, we have actually the, the import for that. What I don't have is probably... I still have my pig farms there as well. There should really be no problem here with my pig production. And yet there is. So yet we do have a problem in this area. Um, canned food. Yep. I'm hoping for the best here now. Fur coat is fine. The rest is looking fine. Light bulbs are in now too. That's at least something. But we still have some problems here with the basic goods. And it's so difficult to keep everything here stable now of course we're not going to be sleepy i'm just waiting on my economy to fill up there again a bit but we do have some nice well we do have a nice fleet here and i would i would like to use this one now that we have more ships let's gather all of them down here and let's just destroy some islands of bente bente is a bit too strong for my taste she's got way too many ships all the time so what i'm going is look at that there's only one cannon here so she's really slacking here with this area that she conquered from us but she's getting some taxes out of that, so we should destroy that. Also, here, this harbor area, which is massive, right? There's no defense, almost. There is some smaller defense here, but nothing that my fleet couldn't stop. So let's no just be annoying to Bente now, right? She has been really a pain in our butt. Ching, on the other hand, she's focusing hard on Ship defense. She doesn't have the biggest fleets like Bente. Bente has the biggest fleets, but she has fleet the best over. defense. Now, since most of her ships are in the new world, I'm hoping that we can surprise her there a bit and just take those islands without any major setbacks. And there we're moving in now. No problem. Let's break formation. Once again, there's the pirate coming out from a waterfall. I have no idea what this is all about. It's still happening. This is just looking fantastic. Ah, out of the fog, there's something coming out. Let's move our ship so they can fire from both sides. As this will make things just very easy. And as we can see, yes, Bente, I can also be very mean to you. And that's exactly what we're doing here. I only have six influence, but we will still be able to take this island no matter what. 
there we have it does cost us a bit we have conquered this one let's just have a look at the loot that we get out of that some building resources i don't really need that wait there's a lot of stuff here oh 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 oh, oh. i think there's a battleship coming in yes there is let's move the fleet and let's focus that battleship this one here is going down yeah it's it, it, we are going to lose this one there is no chance there's so many ships all right there's also something oh a second battleship this is probably going to hurt us let's move them so we can use or we can shoot at both of them just like that Oh boy, they're taking so much damage. Willy! Yep. Willy is in the area. Um, I'm actually tempted for the first time to go alliance with Willy. Righto, she's losing this one. We have lost two ships so far, so our influence is going better again. On point. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving up on, on, on getting this one here. Very good. That would have been a shame, right? Oh, and it's too close to the harbor area. I'm backing off. And we're going over here. So she's lost this one for good. She's Very good. I mean, not for good. She will probably get it back. Let's just have a look. Some advanced weapons. We can always use that. Some reinforced concrete. I'm lacking the loot here. Also in the items. Ooh, look at that. Crop farms productivity. 70% of productivity increasing. Public services. There's some interesting items here. Let's have one of my ships take that. This one, this one is for the town hall. Public services minus 50% maintenance cost. That is not really important. Um, church chapel, range increasing. Income per house for the residents. This is cool. This is something we can use. Old production buildings, chance of fire plus 20%. Nah. But another item for our botanical garden. This is still white flag. F uh, 25 minutes. Let's get my fleet back home. Repairing them. And we do have now, yep. We can now build more ships again, thanks to having a bit more influence. Now, back in the new world, uh, our island, Lagar, is still standing strong. Very nice. Um, there is no big fleet, but I can see there's lots of ship movement here in the new world, right? This corridor here is especially so difficult. This will be really a major problem. What we can do now, though, in Lagar is, is starting our little coffee production. We have some obreros now. I'm going ahead and upgrading a few more of them as it's only costing me a bit of timber. Very nice. We have 580 obreros now and we can really dig the coffee. For the coffee, since we're having a very difficult space, I will not be able to make a really efficient layout for my, for my coffee. So we're doing the same thing we've already done on other islands. I'm just going to have a lot of them with one isle. Oh, with one module roads, stuff like that. Let's purchase back some shares as well. This was that. Um, for that, we lack the influence. There, we still have everything. Ready for a challenge. All right. So let's just go ahead and have our coffee here. And probably like that on both sides. It should be possible. And yeah, something like that. This is working. So there we have now seven of these coffee plantations. I can go ahead and have another warehouse in this area and continue with the same layout. Probably three more that we can squeeze in that. That should be fine. So it's it's a bit tricky, but we can manage. It's, of course, a bit more difficult um, than a normal flatland. And it definitely requires a bit more optimization. But it's looking good. Thanks to the very, very flexible layout that we have. And boom, the last coffee plantations we have now as well. And with that, we only need now some roasters. This is not going to be enough, right? So we still have a bit of space then here in this area. So, oh, actually I wanted to leave this one open, right? So we still have this road that we can have. So this island, so there we can have more than later. And here we can also have a second bridge that we need for this island then as well. So this should be workable. 
for the coffee roasters we also need some space uh coffee roasters unfortunately do need a lot of space so we're going to have two of those um plenty of of those sites right plus they also since they are factories do need a fire station so we're going to squeeze this one in here like that that we still have the gold deposit that we're going to need later um and then we can have those coffee roasters let's just say um four and probably a fifth one i will still need that I will still need that warehouse though. So I'm just going ahead and remodeling and those plantations there a bit. So they still have their maximum efficiency. There we go. Right. And then we can squeeze in another six of them. Perfect. And the warehouse for those guys down here. That's really as far as we can go with this little spot. That's six of them. They have the ratio of two plantations to one coffee roaster. So it's fine. Now, that can really start working now. The only thing that we lack is a cargo ship. Seeing that this is a very defended area, or, well, fortified area, plus this island here, I will need to get my fleet over here to secure it. And even then, it's going to be tricky. We could try it without a defense for now. We could create this trade route now, Lagarde, to... Vandermark and let's just have a look here we can now choose it where they should go right and they should go like that so hopefully they are going to choose this corridor they have to and that's really the only thing that we could do in this area unfortunately that's it right and then we're going with coffee let's only make it four times even though a cargo ship could take way more and then Minerva our very first cargo ship let's go with that and try it out and as we can see, yep, there are warships everywhere. Though my cargo ship should be fast enough. At least that's the hope. Very good. So far, so good. We can now start building them. Um, let's go ahead and have the first warehouse. And the first four and six. There we have it. Expensive as always. But beautiful. Fantastic location. Definitely a very fantastic location to work with. All right, and then here, three coffee roasters. Of course, come join us. Not very expensive, and they can do this. After a hot day picking coffee beans, they can now go take a swim in the ocean. All right, unfortunately, we can't enjoy this paradise here too long. There is some ships under Ship attack again. Under attack. And, yep, it's Benta moving into my corridor. It was kind of expected since, yeah, well, we attacked one of our islands. She's going up here to Tranquil View. Um, that cargo ship is going to be fast. I mean, the audacity, really. She's going right into the heart of my island. My island constellation. There's another battleship. It can follow. Your harbor is under... Ah, and I've also been waiting for you. Uh, we're going with the minus 30 once again. Only 10 money. We could also completely neglect the income for now. Really save some influence because that is some positive news there anyway. So let's just go with that. We still have 12k income. It's still totally fine. Yeah, and once again, we are of course a bit too late. They might take it only the shares. Look at me, I Attention for the Admiral. Terrible. And another one is down. There we also get some bananas. And the other one, uh, we might need to take this one. Ah, there's more ships. All right. This was actually Princess Ching this time. So also her, I will have to... I have to take my revenge on her at some point. But she, boy, she has a lot of defense. Right. And by the way, since we have not influence, let's also purchase that more share here. That's 2,200 income at least that we can use again. Ship under attack. Now, also, the cargo ship should have left the old world. Is on the way now. There it is. Coffee. And I'm really curious if it survives or if it needs some protection. It 
wouldn't hurt us to add three warships to that, right? That we could do. Also, oh, in Ravenna, look at that. We have a real queue piling up here. So let's just check it. There is the pier. We can afford that. And let's have a pier as well for this city. Alright, now it's actually Bente that is trying to take the island. So Princess Ching is gone and Bente is coming in. It's it's really insane how they are interchanging there all the time. Um, yeah, Bente is, as we can see, much stronger though. So we're going to have a bit of a more uh, fight with this one, especially because of the battleship. I'm still taking out the other ships first, um, as they still do damage, of course. And they're still only passing through, so they're not really attacking. Let's break formation. Let's chase them. Of course, they want to go to Tranquil View, but over here, it's still the white flag. So they're not going to be able to take it. Alright, they're attacking these sand mines. I guess this is some kind of desperation. It's fine though, because the battleship is attacking something else than us. I I really don't care about my sand mines. Very good. And then it's really just this one now that we can also take down. This always feels really, really good. Meanwhile, yep, as expected, that cargo ship that is trying to get the coffee is being chased by all kinds of ships right here in the new world. So there is no chance for me. For some reasons, the AI immediately knows when there is an unguarded cargo ship and is just chasing it down. So here, once again, I do need to bring in my fleet. I do need to destroy at least this island here as well and some of those ships. Um, and I will have some action for that cargo ship um that's basically what this is all about and also another clipper can go out now the battleship here still stays castilla uh we have a lot of money i could also purchase warships probably if they had a decent ones i doubt that he's still offering the oil tankers that we certainly don't need at least not for now and yep let's get our ships and let's get them over here I would also like to build another battle cruiser and another warship. Let's build two heavy warships, to be honest. Uh, we can actually build three of them. All right. I don't mind that at all. The fire here. Yeah. That was unfortunate. That was the battleships. We don't. We do have a fire station close by. It's already doing that. And this is also over. Let's rebuild them. And as we can see, the next catastrophe is coming right in. That is the form of a plague once again for the workers. So I do need another hospital. As always, we're going to have this one. I mean, it's not looking good when it's in the harbor area, right? But we have to. We need to have something here. So right beside the fire station. We're going to have it like that. And then probably on that side here. We will also need a hospital. So let's get rid of those workers there. And jump in another hospital. Just beside the other one. Because it's a big district. So we do need to have two here. I'd rather take it the safe route, right? So two hospitals. One hospital. And I think here we should also have two hospitals together again. So here and there. Reason for that is why? Because we can't mobilize them. Um, without the happiness boosts, we are not having enough uh, happiness to mobilize hospitals, right? So usually you can mobilize them and you have two to three doctors working. Instead, we only have one to two doctors working. Um, having two of them is getting rid of those epidemics really quickly. And this is the goal for that right now. Um, we don't need that many farmers anymore to compensate the worker shortage. I can continue with some upgrades. Uh, this is always minor annoyance there. No one ever put that much trust in me.
All right, that is at zero now, so that was very close. Oh, it's not in a negative. Ah, yeah, because the plague is not spreading Just to the farmers. Still fine, still fine. Look at you, swagger. There's also the university. Let's build this one for this area. Finally, it has been blueprinted for far too long. Going down. I'm preparing these ships here now for the voyage to the new world. Right, because I think my cargo routes are quite safe at the moment, especially with the cargo ships that are being used everywhere. And by the way, we could have another battle cruiser on the way right away. Let's do this. And I'm paying this one too. By the way, my balance is really low at the moment. We are having some real problems with the supply at the moment. So this is something I need to focus completely before we can really uh, advance there. And of course, the coffee. Stay tuned. <laughs> 